Kim Kardashian is going to dominate Wall Street private equity, and I'm going to explain how in today's video. You may not have heard the news, but Kim Kardashian has started a private equity fund called Sky with a partner. Now, I'm going to explain what private equity is and how a fund works in a moment. These are critical details. But this is something that Kim Kardashian is uniquely qualified and able to drive massive wealth. We're not talking about just Kardashian money and riches. We're talking about Bezos, Musk, Buffett. She is going to be hitting and probably surpassing those of the wealthiest people in America because of this one thing she's doing in 2022. And I know you may be watching other Kim Kardashian news, but pay attention to this and mark my words, this will be big. Now, let me explain how a private equity company actually makes money. And we're going to talk about the fund and the structure and how that works as well. But let's talk about just how a private equity company makes money. Now, private equity funds have owned companies like Lululemon, Hostess, Hilton Hotels. I mean, they own some of the most common companies we've all used them in a customer of. You just never knew it was owned by, quote unquote, private equity. Now, what private equity means is it's not publicly traded. For example, Lululemon was bought by private equity. Half of the founder's ownership was bought in 2014. Now, their intent was, of course, to grow the company, make a huge profit, and sell it for a higher price later, which is exactly what they did in that case. Now, think of Kim K2. She's going to do the same thing. She's going to go look at brands, at companies that may be small right now, but she thinks they can get to 10 times the size and she could sell for a huge profit. That is essentially what private equity does. They're almost like buying them fixer upper rental properties, turn around and flipping them. But in this case, they're businesses, typically businesses that are maybe 10 million, they want to sell for 100 million. Or they're going to buy for 100 million and sell for a billion. They're looking for high growth businesses, businesses that can be turned around or that are relatively new. Now, we're going to talk about how private equity is different from venture capital in a moment, but think of private equity as buying existing businesses that are not yet publicly traded, growing them, and selling them for a profit. Now, we're going to come back to why Kim Kardashian is going to have huge impact in certain companies that she can make billions, yes, billions of dollars helping. Now, let's explain how a private equity fund works, and it is not complicated. It's essentially comprised of two parts limited partners or investors, and general partners who are management. Now, if you're a limited partner investor, let's say it's a billion dollar fund and you put in a hundred million, you're going to get 10% of the profits in the deals. Now, let's say you're the general partner though. You don't need to put in money. Your job is to manage, make decisions, find awesome investments, and make money for all the limited partners. But what do you get as the general partner? This is what Kim K is. She's the general partner along with a partner named Jay Sammons, who we're going to come back and talk about in a moment. But as general partner, they get something called 2 and 20. 2% 2 of assets under management and 20% of something called the carry interest or profit. Now, this is common in private equity. This is how it works. And let's explain it here for a moment. Now, let's say Kim raises a $1 billion fund. They're at least going to raise that. 2% of an asset under management fee means she's going to get paid $20 million a year just to manage this fund to pay other people, her partner, Jay Sammons, they're all going to get participating in this 2% fee. In this instance, 20 million on a $1 billion fund. And that is very common in the private equity world, but where the real money is made is on the 20%. Here they get 20% of the profits. Sometimes this 20% is called the carry or carried interest. It's essentially when the fund makes money for its investors, the general partners get to keep 20% of it. So let's take an example. Let's say that they sell a company and they make a $10 billion profit. Well, they get to keep 20% of that. $2 billion of profit is going back to Kim K as the general partner. Now, what happens if they sell a company for a loss, though? Do they participate in the loss? Nope. The private equity fund model, the general partner does not have to share in the loss. So they get all the benefit of the upside profit in the deal without having to risk losing their own money. This is how private equity funds work. So you can see from these examples, the two and 20 model for private equity fund managers is something very beneficial. Kim Kardashian and her partners are not gonna have to put up money, but they get huge reward and upside if their investments are successful. Now this general partner structure we've talked about is gonna have Kris Jenner, of course, 
but also Jay Sammons, who is a private equity expert, worked at Carlisle, one of the largest private equity funds. And he's worked on some companies you might have heard of, Supreme, also worked with Dr. Dre by doing Beats by Dre that later sold the Apple. So she's got some experienced people in her corner that know private equity, that know how to work with brands and companies that are high growth. Now, it's important to understand the difference between private equity and venture capital. Kim Kardashian is not doing venture capital. She's doing private equity. What private equity is, is it's existing businesses. They have customers. They have profit. They have a team of employees, a management structure. This is where Kim Kardashian's coming in. She's coming in to find companies and brands that she thinks can be 10 times the size they are today. Venture capital, on the other hand, is typically investors investing in ideas, in concepts, in first prototypes. They don't have customers. If they're making money, they're actually losing more than they're taking in. Venture capital or VC funds are far more risky. This is not Kim K's, this is not her spot. She's coming into private equity where there are more established brands. It's less risk. But again, they're companies that she will see can be 10 times what they are today. And she gets to keep 20% of the profits when she does it right. Now, you heard me say earlier that Kim Kardashian was going to get to the levels of wealth of Musk, Buffett, Gates. She's going to get those highest levels of the richest people in the world. And I'm serious about that. 22 of those on the Fortune 400 list made their wealth in private equity. Now, Kim Kardashian has a huge start on them already. I think she's already a billionaire, but she is going to have massive wealth accumulation happening through her private equity fund, Sky. Now, here's why she is uniquely qualified and why she's going to beat the other private equity funds out there. She has stuff other private equity funds cannot match. Now, think if you're a successful company, you're growing fast, you want a private equity partner to take you to the next level. Kim Kardashian and her partner, Jay Sammons, come by from Sky. And they say, we love your brand. We think we can make it 10 times the size it is today, 100 times the size it is today. Then you get regular old private equity fund coming over saying, we got all these MBAs from Harvard. We got all this money. Well, Sky's got the same money too, but they have the Kim factor. They have the largest influencer in the world who's going to be a fan of your brands out promoting you that is probably one of the biggest marketing departments you could ever engage. That is gonna be a game changer for companies that get an investment from Kim and Skyfund. Now let's be honest, whether you like Kim K or not, she has had massive success already in her own businesses. Those alone already make her a billionaire. But being able to pick and choose the brands is the perfect tool to monetize her huge social media following. She has 330 million followers on Instagram alone, and that's just one of her social channels. Think of the influence she is gonna have on up and coming brands that she already loves, rather than just being a spokesperson for them or sending out a shout for some products or other things and money she might get for those types of things. Think of these are really the companies she loves. She's gonna put her time into, maybe a little bit of her money, and she's gonna get now 20% of the upside of those companies' growth. It is a genius move to monetize her influence and do it in a way that will make her tons of money.